Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for yet more of your daily gaming news of myself, Amata. Today is still the 12th of November and this time I'm here to give you the latest news for the Xbox One. As some users with early access to the system have revealed the install sizes for much of the console's launch lineup. Now, for those of you who were paying attention on Sunday just gone, you will know that a small number of customers did receive their consoles last week due to a shipping error by the US retailer Target. Now, Microsoft has since blocked the consoles from Xbox Live until launch, but that isn't the topic of this video. If you're unsure of the exact intricities of this particular piece of news regarding Target, I did do a video on Sunday, so I would highly recommend you check that out. Now. Moonlight Swami, who is a user publicly identified by Microsoft as being one of the lucky few to receive their console early, has been posting information and screenshots from the system online. And a lot of this information was regarding the install sizes of some of the heavy hitters for the next generation. Now, the lot. The largest download sizes come from titles such as Battlefield 4, which comes in at 33 gigs, Call of Duty Ghost, which is 39 gig, Third Rise Son of Rome is 34, and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is 20. Now, as you guys probably know by now, all Xbox One games must be installed to your hard drive in order to run, although you can often begin playing after reaching a certain point in the installation progress. So you don't necessarily have to have it all installed, but it will reach a certain point, let's just say, for example, 20%, and then from that point you can just play the game. Now reportedly Call of Duty Ghosts apparently takes around 10 minutes to install 51% of the game after which point you are then able to play so that's not too bad. Now the smallest install sizes are belonging to Killer Instinct which comes in at a tiny 3.4 gigs, Zoo Tycoon which is at 2.6 and Xbox Fitness which is a, a minuscule 246 megabytes. Now I do have a full list here which was helpfully provided by this particular user much thanks Thank you to him for being a helpful fella and giving us this rather tasty information, which of course we should not be having this early on. So we have Assassin's Creed 4, which is of course 20 gigs, Battlefield 4 again at 33, Call of Duty Ghosts at 39, Dead Rising 3 is 19 gigs, FIFA 14 is 8, Fighter Within is 9.2. Forza Motorsport 5 is a rather hefty 31 gigs. Just Dance 2014 is 22 gig. Killer Instinct is 3.4. Loco Cycle is 13 gig. Madden NFL 25 is 12 gig. NBA 2K14 is 43 gigs, which has to be one of the larger sizes on this list. NBA Live 14 is 9 gig. Power Star Golf is 3.9. Rise Son of Rome is 34. Skylander Swap Force is 15 gig. Xbox Fitness is 246 megabytes. Zoo Tycoon is 2.6 gig. And Zumba World Party is 24 gigs. So there you have it. I don't think anyone is going to be surprised to see a one terabyte Xbox One hard drive coming onto the market not long after release. I wouldn't be surprised to see a similar thing for the PS4. As of course, these game sizes are rather large and if you're going to be playing a lot of games, you're going to fill up the hard drive that comes with the device, regardless of your device of choice, fairly quickly, even if you're fairly vigilant about deleting the install. And I think that some people might be concerned that that would remove their save file, but I don't think you have to worry. Um, they are saved separately, at least with the Xbox 360, so I would assume that it would be the same with the Xbox One. But of course, we don't know that for sure. I'm sure we'll find out closer to launch, but I would be surprised if it worked any other way. So you're either going to have to be pretty vigilant about deleting games that you no longer play, or just having to think about investing in an extra hard drive as the sizes of the next generation games are looking pretty mighty to say the least. Of course, for the PS4 we have Killzone Shadowfall, which apparently comes in at around 50 gigs, so they're not messing around with the install sizes, and I think broadband in some countries is going to be struggling to keep up for digital versions of these games. So I think that until we see an improvement, disc-based sales are going to be pretty high. Not that they aren't already, but they might be higher than they normally otherwise would be because well someone who might prefer digital games for whatever reason 
doesn't quite have the internet to download a 50 gig install fairly quickly so they'll just be like oh okay I'll just get the box version then and at least it'll just install and be done with it so I won't be surprised if a few people have to relent on that anyway that is me done for this video I hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time